Aftershock is on pace to become China's all-time box office champ for a locally made film. It's giving a big jolt to China's box office receipts, projected this year to rise 61 percent to nearly one and a half billion dollars. The industry here is one-seventh the size of the U.S. and Canada, but growing much faster. However, not all is well in Chinese movie land. Even though the number of films is increasing, the proportion of movies that are profitable is declining. This year, I'd say only about 10 percent of the movie investments are making money. Wang says because of piracy and a shortage of theaters, the box office is where a movie makes almost all of its money. Aftershock alone will earn Huayi Brothers 30 percent of its yearly revenue. While China has four times the population of the United States, it has 20 percent fewer movie screens and the big blockbusters like Aftershock dominate, leaving little screen time for the smaller, even critically acclaimed films. A lot of money coming in wants to be involved with movies that makes a splash, makes a lot of noise. We even have a better chance of getting money back. And in the past 10 years, there's been a lot of smaller Chinese movies that have got the uh, critically acclaimed, winning film festival awards, but they've been losers. The Toronto International Film Festival has selected the low-budget The Piano in a Factory to premiere at this year's festival. And yet the film about out-of-work factory workers in the industrial northeast has struggled to get financing. The Chinese film industry is not really an industry. It's just in its infancy. We need to nurture this infant. That's why in the past 10 years I've been working a lot with new directors. The process of making the film and financing the movie is remarkably similar to the challenges the lead character faces as he makes a piano from scratch for his daughter. His family and friends rebuff him. He has to sweet-talk people and he has to try to get their sympathy. Our lives are in parallel with the struggles he went through to make a little dream come true. This is the only movie I didn't take any money for, but I'm very happy with it. <laughs> Winning an international award could take away some of the sting from getting the cold shoulder from investors. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg, Beijing.